Hey, it's Joseph here. Since my last low-profile mechanical keyboard comparison video, I had decided that the Logitech MX Keys Mechanical was the right keyboard for me. The overall look, feel, and the features were quite favorable to me. By the way, if you have not watched that video, I suggest you watch it as I've compared multiple keyboards including Logitech G915. I'll leave the link in the description. And overall, my thoughts stay the same. I do like this MX Keys Mechanical. However, after using it for about six months, I noticed a couple of things that I did not like about this $163 keyboard. So I wanted to share my thoughts and experience whilst comparing it to other keyboards that I have also tried. Problem number one, there is no key gap between the number row and the F keys above, and there is no gap between escape and the F1 key. Someone has pointed this out in my last video comment. Yes, I do read comments. For me at least, I have less problem having keys above the slash and the star button on the number pad, but it was quite annoying that I keep hitting F1 key whilst I'm trying to hit the escape key. Bringing up the help dialog on whichever software that you are currently using was quite annoying. Problem number two, no wired connection is available for this keyboard. Don't get me wrong, both MX Keys Mechanicals Bolt wireless dongle and then also the Bluetooth work quite well. I was initially using the Bolt dongle only and there was a few comments saying that the modern Bluetooth is quite good these days. Therefore, I tried the Bluetooth for a few months and I noticed no difference in the two other than the fact that I don't need to connect this dongle into my computer. However, with both the dongle and Bluetooth, I have experienced several times where my PC wakes up from the sleep and the keystrokes will stutter. Then I just have to turn the keyboard off and then on again to get things going normally. I don't know if this is a fault of the keyboard or my machine, but either way, it is quite annoying and I had no such issue with other wired keyboards such as G915, although that worked wirelessly as well. I normally keep my keyboards charging all the time as it is not a device like a mouse where it constantly moves around. By the way, I use this magnetic USB cable to just snap it easily onto the keyboard into different devices such as a mouse like this. And it is connected back to my PC, therefore it is better to utilize the wire connection whilst it can. Problem number three, no dedicated media control buttons. I suppose this is quite dependent on a personal preference, but I like dedicated media control buttons on a keyboard as I always listen to music whilst working. As a top row of buttons, the F keys double as function buttons that includes the media controls. You have to stick to either locked function keys versus the F keys, the F1, F2, F3, and so on. Meaning you have the option of pressing FN key that is on the right side of the space bar in order to trigger the secondary functions of the keyboard. Because I frequently use F keys such as F2, F5, and F11 for work, I cannot set the keyboard to have myself hitting function button and then the F keys every time I need to execute those keys. But when I need to quickly mute or pause the music, I now have to combine FN key and the F10 over here to play and pause or F12 to mute the speaker. You can reassign none F keys such as these four buttons on this corner via Options Plus software. And I have reassigned the sleep button or the lock button on the top right hand corner as a play and pause button. It does work most of the time. However, there are a few times when the software was updating or it just didn't run in the background. And in that moment, if I press this, my computer goes to sleep. At that point, it is little more than annoyance quite close to disruptive. Therefore, I want dedicated media control button, not these kind of buttons. So I've set out to look for another low profile mechanical keyboard that perhaps addresses those three issues that I highlighted whilst being as good as MX Keys Mechanical. 
And I have found two. Keychron K5. And ProtoArc K300. Both of the keyboards address two primary reasons that MX keys mechanical lacked. They allowed wire connections as well as allowing Bluetooth connections in case you want to go wireless or connect multiple devices. And it also provided a bit more conventional key format or layout where there is a slight gap between the number row and the F keys and also between the escape key and F1 button. By the way, all three of them have white backlights or illumination on the keyboards and I do know that illuminated keys are quite important for a lot of you out there and you can also switch all of these keyboards into Windows or Mac modes. And just to be clear, I'm only looking for low profile mechanical keyboards that has the number pad on the side. And I do know there are more keyboards out there, I just haven't got to it or tried it yet. And just because I have invested some time in looking for the right keyboard for myself, it kind of puzzles me why I haven't found a good separate number pad product just yet. If you're aware of one, I would love to know. Anyways, let's have a look at Keychron K5 the first. I am aware that the Keychron keyboards are quite well known amongst the enthusiasts. Therefore, I had some expectations for this keyboard and I would say most of them are met. The overall style and the look of the keyboard are quite nice and it is minimal and simple. The overall build quality is excellent and it is the heaviest of the three. A few switches on the top left corner for power and mode control and it is a bit odd to have the USB-C port at the center of the keyboard which makes the keyboard cable to just kind of go through the entire desk rather than on onto the corner but that is just a minor gripe and something that I do want to complain about is the fact that it does not have any adjustment in regards to the angle of the keyboard. I don't really use it so it doesn't really matter for me but I do know that it matters for some people. There were some extra keycaps included in the box along with the keycap removal tool. You can switch the escape key from their signature orange to gray if you would like and the switch type is offered in many different configuration but in my case I got the Gateron G Pro brown switch for the tactile feel of the keys. And that is actually my preferred switch type. In regards to the typing experience, I actually regard this one as the best one out of the three. The top row of F keys doubles as function keys as well as the media control. Three keys above the home and page up keys are dedicated for screenshots, mute, and key light control. As I have said before, I would like a dedicated media control button and it is just not present here. Therefore, I would take a point off for them in regards to that. And also, I will take another point off for the keycap design. I am certainly not a mechanical keyboard expert. Therefore, I don't know this specific style of the keycaps, but they are square-ish and kind of edgy. But the non-rounded, edgy style of the keycap is quite different from what I'm used to. What I'm basically referring to is the MX Keys keycaps. And apparently they offer $30 low profile double shot PBT LSA keycap set, which has been out of stock ever since I got this keyboard. And finally, since last week, they have the white ones in stock, but I want the black one if I'm gonna spend even more money so I'll have to wait longer. Speaking of money, I spent 85 US dollars for this specific configuration. And most of the configurations are available around $100. The next one up is ProtoArc K300. I did receive this product from ProtoArc to feature in a video, but they have not told me to say anything specific. Therefore, all of following is my experience and my thought. 
And based on my research, they seem to be making some ergonomic keyboards and mice that are focused on business and productivity. As it had most of the features that I was looking for, I decided to take a deeper dive with this keyboard. And I see this specific keyboard listed as $100 on Amazon as well as their own website. The metal frame and the plastic bottom makes up a quite sturdy construction and it is the lightest of the three and it has on and off switch on this corner of the keyboard along with the USB-C port. I like how this is all tucked away into the corner so that you can just connect the cable, choose different modes via these yellow buttons, either the wire mode, wireless, or Bluetooth. The dongle is also offered to be connected via 2.4 giga wireless connection and it is nicely tucked away over here and you can connect total of four different devices as you can see on these four yellow buttons. And as you have just seen it, underside of the keyboard, it allows two levels of angle adjustments and the switches are only offered in the red switches. I'm not exactly sure what kind of red switches these are and they are not my preferred tactile variant. So I would be very biased in terms of the feeling of the switch. I suppose if you're the type of person who prefers the linear feel, I guess you can get used to this one. And I do like the rounded and a concave design of the keycaps where it feels more normal to me. The modifier keys such as tab, caps lock, shift, control, and win and alt and space bars are actually convex instead of the concave and give slightly different feel whenever you are typing. In regards to the aesthetics, the characters of the keys are not uniformly lit and give a slightly yellow glow rather than white. And the symbols and the typeface are somewhat different to each other. So I suppose they can improve on those aspects on the next iteration, but it has a dedicated media control buttons in the dial. It is easy to control the music. This is exactly what I wanted on the other keyboards. Play and pause button is right there and you can go forward or previous depending on your listening to music or movie. And you can use this dial to control the volume easily and I can actually press the dial to mute the sound and it is quite intuitive. I must say the dial isn't the best feeling dial that I have felt before, but it gets the job done and I would be happy if this was on other keyboards. To sum up the best qualities of the each keyboard, MX Keys Mechanical has the best keycap design, feel and support for the software control. And Keychron K5 has the best quality and the feel of the brown switches that it has. Although the switches preference is highly personal, they do offer many different configurations. And ProtoArc K300 has the best media control offering as well as the connection methods as it offers wire connection, 2.4 gigahertz wireless and Bluetooth.
Since no keyboard is perfect, I have a suggestion to all keyboard manufacturing companies. Can I please have a low profile number pad charges via USB-C, connects via Bluetooth, and has a media control along with a nice volume dial? Anyways, until then, my search for the perfect keyboard will continue. By the way, all the product that I have showcased on this video are linked in the description. And if you have enjoyed this content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.